What is the meaning of sleeper effect? The sleeper effect occurs when a persuasive message has an impact but is delayed. When the impact finally does take hold, it has increased and is even more powerful. Who came up with the sleeper effect? The sleeper effect was originally proposed by American psychologist Carl Hovland in the late 1940s. He published a famous journal article along with Walter Weiss in 1951. As mentioned earlier, the sleeper effect is a psychological phenomenon that relates to persuasion. It is a delayed increase in the effect of a message that is accompanied by a discounting cue, typically being some negative connotation or lack of credibility in the message. While a positive message may evoke an immediate positive response, which decays over time. The sleeper effect also refers to a delayed positive response that is maintained over time. Because the sleeper effect has been considered to be counterintuitive, researchers since the early 1950s have attempted to explain how and why it occurs. The phenomenon is extremely hard to replicate in experiments, giving rise to doubts of its existence. Nevertheless, researchers have tried to explain the phenomenon, but suggesting that forgetting and dissociation to be one hypothesis. Another hypothesis is differential decay. Consider the sleeper effect in the context of persuasive communication. If someone initially hears an argument from a less credible source, they may dismiss it. However, over time, the message separates from its source, and the initially discounted information gains credibility. As discussed in Rolf de Bellis, The Art of Thinking Clearly, the sleeper effect highlights the influence of time on belief revision. De Bellis insights caution against overlooking the long-term impact of information, emphasizing the need for ongoing critical evaluation, and an awareness of how messages may evolve over time.